What's up YouTube? Big D for Life here. I just want to do a really quick recap uh, of the 91 FLIR Ultra and 94 FLIR Ultra before I try and get into that 99 Tops Prime. Uh, start with the with the 91 Ultra. I mean, not a lot to say. You know, all the Hall of Famers and, uh, you know, big name players from that year. Yeah, I've you know, I got multiples of all of those guys. I think the only person I didn't see was Jim Kelly. Uh, it was big, that a, a big name from that time. Uh, they had one insert series in there, and uh, they're cool. I've I've seen a lot of this these cards, but I never really seen many of these inserts. Uh, they're uh, ultra performances, ninety one ultra performances. And I got couple rice iron mike couple thurman thomas rod woodson and reggie white um all that stuff I've, i keep a hall of fame player binder and elite players like from the past all that stuff will go in there uh, got a stack of rookies led by i would say Herman Moore. Um, I know somebody that probably would, you know, it's not a expensive car, but I know somebody that would probably like to have that. Uh, another buddy of mine likes Ricky Waters. Kept that out for him. And this is really what I was looking for was the Favre rookie. Again, it's not an expensive rookie card, but seven bucks it was a lot of fun got a lot of a lot of cool players the 94 stuff that uh todd suggested that i get all right first of all the bad and i mean i had a number of them that did this but these were the, some of the bigger name players that ended up having the damage from the cards being stuck together um, some of them you might you probably can't see on camera Tim Brown's ruined. Um, some of them aren't too bad, but depending on what... There's the one I did on a little short video earlier. The Montana and the Bruce Smith back-to-back. -back. So those were some damages. That was happening early on to me, especially before I kind of figured these things out. Uh, another bad, in my opinion... If you were around collecting cards at the time, everyone was in love with Rick Meyer. They, they thought he was the next Joe Montana. So this set is Rick Meyer crazy. Uh, they got a couple different insert s sets of Rick Meyer. If anybody likes Rick Meyer and wants these cards, hey, I'll be more than happy to send them to you. Um, you know, they're beautiful cards. Um, it's just uh, too bad Rick Meyer never really worked out. Apparently they have a set in here called Ultra Star and what you know the one and they're awesome looking cards. The one I pulled was Rick Meyer. So like I say, if anybody likes Rick Meyer, let me know and you can have these. The good. That Montana and Bruce Smith that I showed on camera earlier. Yeah, I ended up hitting the same combination again that wasn't stuck together and man these are sweet looking cards I mean they got nice foil at the bottom gold foil they're glossy and I never did show the back the back has like three pictures on it just beautiful looking cards and you know just like the 91 got all the oh look at that beautiful merino all the big names Irvin, Aikman, Emmett, Haley, Novacek was a big name to me, Andre Reed, Barry, Todd, I need to know if you want any of these, I, I know you've probably cracked a ton of this stuff, do you need any of this stuff? Uh, let me know. I'd be glad to send you some of this stuff, but I'm thinking 
you've probably already got it and um if you don't if you've already got it and don't want it i'll probably care package some of this stuff to somebody else but just let me know man you you steered me towards these and dude i'm in love with with these cards uh just really pretty cards i will definitely buy another box of this stuff it was uh 15 bucks for this box and man it took me it took me probably two hours to open it just because they were stuck together all right rookies um i did get a thick stack of rookies in there not a lot of great rookies in this class uh i think willie mcginnis was probably the best other than I got two Isaac Bruce, which is something I was looking for in there. Unfortunately, both of my Bruce's had a little bit of surface damage on them, kind of right there, right up there. That's the, that's the only, that was really the only surface damage cards that I wasn't really able to recover. This is, this is, uh, Todd's exact words were, uh, Paul Marshall Falks for days or something like that. Marshall Falk rookies. It's just a sweet looking rookie card. Look at that. Inserts. Um, they've got these second year standouts in there. Didn't pull anything really crazy. Bledsoe. They're really sweet looking cards. The Bettis. Nice looking card. It's double filled, sweet looking cards. Um, so these I love, and of course I had to pull a Rick Meyer. There's five of these. They're called award winner. I pulled three out of the five. Didn't care too much for the Meyer, but these two got the Emmett, and the camera's really not doing him justice. It's shiny and foil up here and Rod Woodson check out that mustache just the heat right there and lastly Oh, I don't know what I did with them. They've got a set called First Round, and this is not. There's actually two more things I want to show. They got a set called First Rounders. And McGinnis again, Morton. Like I say, it just wasn't a great first round class. Um, these cards are sick looking though. However, I did and. One good first rounder. I got two of those. If you can even, let me. Two of the Marshall Falks. Sweet looking stuff. And then last insert set, achievement awards. I think these are really good looking cards batteries dying Marcus Allen Elway look at that that is beautiful Todd do you have that let me know please rice berry same with that one Sterling Sharp Thurman Reggie White. I didn't pull all of them. There's 10. I think there's maybe three or four that I didn't pull. Got them on the back. So to me, this box was this box was worth $15 just for the inserts uh, and a couple of rookies. Um, I know probably value-wise, maybe not, but just for cool factor, ton of fun. Uh, Todd, thanks again for steering me towards that product. I will buy more of that. Um, I'm going to upload this video and I'm going to open up that Top's Finest and I'll post that tomorrow. I appreciate everybody watching. Sorry I put up so many videos tonight. It was just a lot of fun for me and I can't help myself. I can't stop opening this stuff. 
Um, Y'all keep it real. I'm out.